please subscribe. Hello everyone and welcome back for another week of drawing. This week we are going to be drawing another vehicle and it's a vehicle that helps keep, it, keep us nice and safe in the community. We did a police car last time, this time we're going to be drawing a fire truck. So we're all about the vehicles for these people that keep us healthy and safe in the community at the moment. So drawing a fire truck, that'll be pretty fun. Nice big red fire truck. Uh, and again, you don't need a lot of stuff to do it. All you need is something to draw on, some sort of paper. Again, what size is up to you? Something to draw with. I'm going to go with a grey lead pencil first, and then I'm going to go over it with a sharpie, like I usually do. Just in case I'm not happy with something, I can rub it out, get it all looking great, and then go over it with a marker to make it pop out a bit more. And something to colour in with, of course, we need either coloured pencils, crayons, pastels, uh, you could use textures or marker, coloured markers, um, or paint. If you want to use paint, you can use paint. You've got to be just be a little careful that the paper doesn't get too wet. Having said that, let's go and get creative and get this fire truck done. Okay, boys and girls, now that you've got your supplies ready, I'm going to go with a pencil grey lead first up just to get all my line work right and then I'm going to go over it like I usually do with a sharpie um, I just don't want to go with a sharpie straight away just in case I need to change anything and in that case I can use a uh, an eraser here I have an eraser and if I'm not happy with anything I can rub it out so let's begin doing our fire truck another form of transportation or transportation used by people that keep us safe in our communities so that's our firefighters of course so ladies and gents what we first need to do if you want to you can use a ruler to do this I'm actually not going to use a ruler but if you want to get your lines nice and straight you are more than welcome to use a ruler so what I'm going to do though is um, just sketch and then I will go over it with a sharpie just to clean it up and then I'll rub out anything I'm not happy with or rub out stuff that shouldn't be there. So first of all let's start. We want to make the fire truck the hero of our drawing today so we want to take up as much of the paper as we can with the fire truck and then in the background we'll put something there to um, just take up any background that's left over. And when we drew the police car, we didn't do a background. So this week I'm going to do a background. Uh, and if you want to do that, you can. So here we go. First what I want to do is uh, draw is a rectangle. So around about here, sort of closest to the end, end of the page. Uh, not too far down though, because I've got to get wheels in here. Uh, sort of about there somewhere is where I want to end that and then go over to around about sort of just a little bit past halfway so I want to have a bit of a rectangle looking block like that and that's going to be the back of the fire truck next I want to draw and remember you can pause the video stop it and then continue on once you've drawn each element then I want to draw a bit of a rectangle shape now this isn't a complete rectangle it's a little bit rounded on one end but it looks like a rectangle so we're going to start here to a rectangle coming out around about sort of half the size of this rectangle so somewhere about there okay and then draw the bottom line for that like that and then on the front of that I want you to sort of curve that a little bit don't keep a complete straight line there completely straight line I want a bit of a, a bit of a curve next I'm going to draw the cab this is sort of the bottom of the cab of the fire truck now we're going to draw the cab where the windows and stuff go and that's going to be just a tad higher than this rectangle not a lot and with a bit of a gap there so I'm going to have a bit of a gap here just a little gap so it's not touching there and then I'm going to come across 
like this and then angle down to that point there where we started our curve or the end of that line there okay so something like that now as I said that's not touching there see good thing I'm using a grey lead next the wheels now for the wheels if you want to you could even use something like this sharpener that I've got here to um, do the wheels that would be fine uh, I might actually do that this is kind of cool the sharpener because it's got sort of little bumps on it not that I'm going to be doing that with the sharpie I'll just be going over the top of it um, now with this Vitro if you wanted to you could have two sets of wheels at the back and one at the front so if you want to do that you can and I'm going to set those up inside the fire truck a little bit just a little um, not too far up into the fire truck but I'm just going to do that one there and I haven't traced that perfectly but it doesn't matter because I'm going to be um, dealing with that a bit later so now the other thing is if you do two wheels you sort of become a little bit limited to what you can put on the side of the fire truck too but that's okay you can have the wheels nice and close together uh, and you want them around about the same sort of height otherwise it'll look a bit funny so something like that it's sort of similar maybe a little bit off but um, anyway I can fix that up when I do my sharpie and then I want one here up the front as well and that's sort of going to be back a little bit back from the front of the cab just a little back um, to get these wheels right what you could do is actually use your ruler and you can see mine will be off a little bit so let's try and get that a bit better than that I might rub that out and do that again see always good see that wheels a little bit higher than this one so what I could do is to place the bottom of the sharpener on that line and that will help me get the wheel in line with that one so and I'll do the same thing at the front here I use that bottom line as a guide and I'm going to use it back here a little bit there there so that's pretty good now as I said that's just a rough guide for me now what I'm going to do is uh, draw the insides of these wheels. Now, you just do a little sort of circle inside these wheels. Something like that. If you wanted to, do it more accurately. You could get yourself like a five cent piece or something like that. Five cents. And you could do a really accurate job of getting those circles around about the same size so that your wheels look awesome but you don't have to you can just sketch like me it's no not a huge deal if they're not exactly the same anyway there's my circles they're a bit rough but I'll fix those up in a bit next what we want to do is put in the wind off oh, first of all we want to put some curves over the top of these wheels like this and this is like the the wheel well of the fire truck so that's like the arched part that goes over the top of the wheel so the fire truck's not touching it and then do the same thing over on this side it follows the same sort of shape as the uh, the curve of the wheel so you want to follow that curve of the wheel Mine's a bit rough at the moment, but I will fix that up when I do Sharpie. And then also over the front one as well. And that front one um, is it's the same sort of thing. So we've got just over the top of that wheel, we follow the same sort of curve, a little bit away from the wheel, something like that. Okay, now windows on our fire truck. And I'm going to put two sort of uh, squarish type windows here, or rectangular actually. So it will be one here. Now they're not going to touch all the way down the bottom, just like that. Be a bit of a bit of a space between the 
top the top here and the bottom there so you've got a rectangular so shaped window there and another one here same sort of size like that and remember I'm doing these pretty rough because I'm going to go over them with a sharpie and then the front window is going to be actually I wanted to angle that one this line here lucky good thing I'm using my gray lid today this one here I wanted to have come on an angle like that something like that so that's straight 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 and then angle line so that bottom line needs to be a little bit longer than the top one okay and then the, for the front window for the windshield I'm gonna have a line following the same angle as that and then just joining right to the front of that line there so that one's just joined right up to it that sort of thing okay now I'm going to put a couple of uh, lights for the, for the flashing lights when the sirens are going uh, I'm going to put one here now the shape of this siren can be whatever you like really but these days they're pretty flat they're not like they used to be they used to be like big domes like that now uh, these days they're sort of I'm going to have a little sort of rectangle base like that put one there and one over here like this something like that and then on top just a little sort of dome on top now something like that they're not as huge or conspicuous as they used to be so that's the sirens for the front or on top of the cab now just a little bit of a um, little bit of work in the front of the uh, the cab here just to put a little bit of design into it what we want to do is sorry um, just got there we're gonna put in a little bit of design work here and that's just going to entail just a few lines on the on the cab part and that's going to come down like this so I'm going to bring a straight line down from about here like this and then come across like that and then down to touch the wheel arch there something like that and then I'm going to have a um, bumper bar which is going to come across like this and down that's going to be like the front of the bumper there the bumper at the front and then my headlight so the light of the headlight on this truck is going to come up like that and then you can, what you can do is curve it if you want like that have a bit of a curve that would look cool and a little blinker or an indicator is going to be on the side of the truck and that's sort of just going to go there I'm just going to do a little rectangle for that something like that I don't want to get too close because when I go over this with Sharpie I don't want lines to join up um, and yeah that's about it for that with the bumper if you want to you can bring it out a little bit off the front of the fire truck if you want so and we'll rub that curve out there we won't actually do that with Sharpie we'll just have that curving out like that to make it look like a bumper okay so next step what I want to do is put a ladder on the side of the truck and the ladder is going to sort of go along here maybe sticking out of the back a little bit but not going all the way up to the front of this rectangle so what I'm going to do now again if you want to you can use a ruler to do this I'm going to have the ladder here like that and I'm going to make that like a long rectangle so it's it's got two long lines now mine doesn't look like that because I've sketched it but I will do two long lines and then make it look like a bit of a rectangle and um, then do another one at about this distance something like that there making a long rectangle so make sure they're in line 
something like that. And then we're going to draw some rungs on the ladder. At the back here, I'm just going to leave that open. Uh, and I'll start my rungs here. Look, that, the back of the truck can be the first one. And then you're doing a space in between each one. So I'll leave that sort of space there. So you're doing two lines, and that's like the rung of the ladder. Then leave an equal space sort of in between each one. That would have to be perfect, but try and make them around about the same sort of distance apart. Something like that. With these lines the same sort of width. Um, so you get the idea. Another one there. And one more here will do. So there's my ladder. Okay, next, what we want to do here is put a bit of detail into the fire truck. And doing that, what we're going to do at the back here, we're going to do a, another bumper. This one's going to stick out from the back of the truck though. So it's going to sort of come out like that. And then curve, I'm going to do a curved one like I did on the front. Curve around on the bottom, something like that. Okay. Next, I'm going to draw a, this will be like a, sort of like a um, secret compartment at the back. A um, bit of a rectangle looking box, but it'll not be a box because I've got two sets of wheels here. If I did one wheel, I would have more space to do some design, but I felt like doing two wheels. So I'm going to have a bit of a compartment box there, something like that. Um, and then I'm going to draw some gauges and a panel on the fire truck as well. I might actually put a bit of a a bit of a flashing light on the back too, I think. So I'll do that at the back here. And I'm going to do a similar light as I've done here. I'm going to do it at the back as well. Something like that. Uh, with a bit of a dome on it. Okay, something like that. Um, and my panel. So over here what I want to do is from the ladder, from around here somewhere, draw a line coming straight down to the bottom. Or actually, we'll leave that just a little bit of space there. So don't go all the way to the bottom, just leave a little space from the bottom of the fire truck there. Uh, and bring that over sort of to about sort of here somewhere. And that's going to be, there's another line there, and on this, this will be like a panel. So what we want to do is bring that back across here, so make it look like it's going back in behind the ladder, and then this can go up through here through the ladder. So it's a bit like a rectangle. Now that doesn't, it doesn't matter if you don't get it the same as that, that's okay. And then we're just going to add some circles and rectangles and things to this. Um, and I'm going to do some circles like this, some circles, maybe three of them across, something like that. You can have some smaller ones in there. Then I'm going to have some rectangles like this, something like that anyway. Um, and then you can have things like you know, little buttons and stuff like that. You might have some little buttons going down the side there, a couple of buttons here for turning on different pumps and things on the fire truck. Um, you may have some little lines like that. So you can do pretty much anything you want on this, this panel. Uh, the amount of design you put in, that's up to you, of course. And um, I might, what I might do is draw a line going across there. So you sort of just play around with how you want your panel to look. And um, up here you could have some different compartments if you wanted to. You could be in like another little door here. It could be a little a handle on a door. Um, and you could even have another one there right next to the ladder. A little door situation there. Um, and that could be an open sort of space behind the ladder there with different things inside. On the side here, you could probably 
put I'm gonna put MFB which is the Melbourne Fire Brigade that's right MFB you may have seen that on trucks in around the city of Melbourne so what I would like to do I'm gonna actually just do an M so draw an M in sort of block letters M something like that F similar size to the M similar <laughs> yes and then B for brigade so something like that would be cool MFB uh, and then also you can do things like um, add some striping and stuff like that like we did with the ambulance um, sort of the with the fire truck is all yellow and red so I might do I might actually turn this that line there I'm going to turn that into some reflective yellow and orange or red so I'm going to do something like that just to change that up a little bit and then I might um, at the top where the ladder is across here I might divide that up you can either divide it up into pieces like that or you can do it on I'm going to do it on an angle actually I'm going to divide that into pieces that are about the same width apart each one and um, that's going to be where I've got my yellow and red striping going on or yellow and white even some, ref some of that reflective looking stuff um, and you can add that wherever you like really I'm going to have some in here so that part there I'm going to have it as well sort of in there and then I might do some in here also now that's already on an angle so I'm just going to do a bit of a situation like that okay there's my fire truck so uh, you can, again you can do other things you can add other accessories if you wanted to you could put little um, little dials and things inside these little ga uh, little hands and things to show where the pressure is and that sort of stuff but that's basically the fire truck um, and then I said as for a background uh, I was thinking about doing a um, city sort of look in the background and what I would do for that is first of all I'm going to get rid of that line there because I don't need that for my wheels anymore so I'm going to get rid of that eventually um, and I'm going to put a line just up above the wheels going all the way through so this part I'll use my ruler again and I'm just going to do that if you'll see this line in a sec so that sort of show, it looks like the truck's more on the ground now and then in behind it I'm going to do some shapes that look like this uh, they're going to be buildings so you know, I'll just sketch this again and do something like this have a building sort of shape going on one up like that there and then go across have another building sort of a rectangle looking one there so we're doing like a silhouette of a city and that coming down and then go up to a taller skinny building maybe something like that so these will be right in the background oh, fire truck we might even have like uh, another building that's sort of a little bit taller than that one and it angles down that way and comes this way and then another one here down and then let's do some different shapes maybe well oh, here this is a wider rectangle building as you can see you can do whatever you like for this to get the look of the city um, and then have another one going up over sort of like that and that gives us a sort of a city skyline I'm going to add sharpie and color to this 
and uh, hopefully it looks awesome and I'm going to rub out all of the lines once I've done my sharpie so that I don't have any grey lead left. I hope you enjoy this activity girls and boys uh, doing our Melbourne Fire Brigade fire truck and I will see you again next week. Bye for now. Yeah. <laughs>